The end game in Terraria is one of the most fun I have had in any games. But when I'm saying end game, I mean everything from cultist. So many cool weapons are given to the player right after the golem. The weapons post golem are able to beat everything till the moon lord. But the game still adds so many weapons that almost feel redundant. For melee, a player can use Terra Blade, Solar Eruption, Daybreak, Horseman Blade, Influx Waver, North Pole, Vampire Knives, Starlight, Flying Dragon, etc. It's just a bit too much weapons for a single class, while the other class such as Summoner, most player are going to use. Stardust Dragon because it is easy to obtain or rarely use something like a Desert Tiger Staff. Or Stardust Cell Staff and that's it. The option for one class is way too much over the other. And even after the final boss the game adds so many cool weapons, which most of the times feel useless. I get that after the final boss the game is supposed to reward the player with gear. That feels overpowered. But after Moon Lord there isn't really much to do with those cool and overpowered weapons. Well you can fight the bosses again. But the thing that makes the game so much fun is its difficulty. And reward for getting over that difficulty. If I can just defeat a boss under one second, then the whole game becomes not fun. Even doing events feels so much less fun after the first time. You use those overpowered gear. It almost feels like a clicking simulator after the final boss. Don't get me wrong. I love these weapons and I love using them, but that is just for a short time. I would love to use them more to face more difficulty and feel accomplished. The weapons such as Zenith, Last Prism, SDMG, Lunar Flare, etc. These weapons are fun to use, but I want to use them for much more longer and have fun with them. This video is just me saying that I want some of those weapons to be more useful. I guess what I want is more content to the Terraria gameplay. Without mods. And I guess it is called Endgame for a reason. Either way the game is really fun as it is. On the side note. You can use these weapons to face the daytime Empress of Light for a hard fight but the fight with the Empress of Light is available before Plantera. With that, thanks for watching, subscribe for more.